Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah has issued warning for the Israeli government as their troops continue their military operations in Rafah. Nasrallah said that his group will continue to fight in support of Palestinians in the Gaza Strip. Even if the Zionist enemy enters Rafah, it does not mean that the resistance has ended and that the Palestinian people have abandoned the resistance. Nasrallah stated that militant activities from Hamas's allies in Iraq, Yemen, and Lebanon, all backed by Iran, have exerted pressure on Israel's military during its ongoing conflict in Gaza, as per AP reports. He claimed that Israel is now at a dead end in their operations in Rafah, struggling to dismantle Hamas despite months of bombardment of the small Palestinian enclave. The Palestinian presence on the ground and internationally has enabled it to impose its terms, while Netanyahu is at a dead end and continues to fight because he is looking for a picture of victory, hence his insistence on invading Rafah. Nasrallah dismissed statements from Israeli officials promising an all-out war on Lebanon and asserted that Hezbollah's goal is to stop the participation of the enemy's pressure on Gaza. The solution is that if you want to fix the situation, we tell the Israeli settlers of the north, go to your government and tell them to stop the war on Gaza. The Lebanese front's first and main objective is to stop the participation of the enemy pressure on Gaza, and that is why there is a link between the two front lines. Despite global restraint, Israeli forces pushed deep into the ruins of Gaza's northern edge, reclaiming an area they claimed to have dismantled Hamas from months ago. In the south, tanks and troops advanced into the densely populated city of Rafah. Hezbollah and Israel have been exchanging fire almost daily along the border since the war in Gaza began seven months ago. Tens of thousands of people have been displaced along the border in both countries. Israeli strikes have killed more than 350 people in Lebanon, most of them fighters with Hezbollah and allied groups, but also more than 50 civilians. In Israel, strikes from Lebanon have killed at least 10 civilians and 12 soldiers, 